Welcome to this Learn Electrics video, the fourth in our video shorts series. With the launch of Amendment 2 of the wiring regulations at the end of March 2022, we've had a few people asking about possible changes to their training. And so, in this short video, I will try and put together what I already know. When talking about dates, please remember that this video is for guidance and in this grey period between amendments, dates can change. Amendment 2 of the 18th edition wiring regulations became live on the 28th of March and everybody, quite naturally, wants to know how it will affect them. The most common questions have been, must I sit an upgrade exam? Which exam will I sit next week? What about my AM2 assessment? And is there a grace period? Let's start with a question about upgrade exams. Must I sit an upgrade exam if I already have an 18th edition certificate? The answer to this is no. A resit is not required. If you've already passed the 18th edition exam, it is assumed that you will be able to incorporate the Amendment 2 changes into your work easily without the need for a resit. As a scheme member with NIC, EIC, NAPIT, etc., you will be required to purchase the new books and begin working to them. Some training centres will offer one-day update courses, but this is not obligatory. They will typically be a morning of discussing the changes with a short assessment in the afternoon. Attendance certificates should be issued, which can be included as evidence in your CPD portfolio, your evidence of continuing professional development. Several questions were asked by students who are just about to sit the exam for the first time. An actual question was, which exam will I sit? My exam is next week. Do I have to buy the brown book and learn it all in a week? In this case, the answer is no. You would not be expected to sit an Amendment 2 exam when all your training has been on Amendment 1 and the Blue Book. Basically, if your exam is already scheduled for the near future, it is going to be based on the Blue Book. If your training course is not yet planned, or your exam is several months away, it is likely to be on the Brown Book. Let me explain. Exam centres and examining bodies need time to prepare new exam questions and to prepare training courses. Also, there needs to be time for tutor training on Amendment 2 changes. The anticipated changeover for the 18th edition exam is around August-September 2022. Training courses with exams before August will most likely be the Blue Book, and after August, the Brown Book. Your training centre has an obligation to keep you informed of the dates that they are working to. It is in your interest to ask and any good training centre will oblige. Dates are changeable, so always stay informed. A few questions were posted about AM2 assessments. There will be two assessments for the AM2, an online knowledge assessment and a practical assessment, and some centres have instigated a best fit option that goes like this. For online knowledge assessments up until September, these will be amendment neutral so that either blue or brown books may be used. And then from September, they will be based on the Brown Amendment 2 book only. And for the practical assessment, up to September, these will use the blue book only. And then from September 2022, all practical assessments will be based on the Brown book Amendment 2. Again, your test centre will keep you informed. We want to help you to pass. In summary, Amendment 2 can be used from the 28th of March 2022. There is no need to sit an update exam, but CPS members will be expected to buy the new books. Candidates that are close to their exam will use the Blue Book. Those that have not yet started their course and where the exam is some months away will begin to use the Brown Book. AM2 students may have different rules for practical assessments and online knowledge assessments. Exam centres have an obligation to keep you informed. It is in their interest to help as many students to pass as possible. It makes good feedback and ensures positive recommendations. Make sure that you keep yourself informed. Ask. Hopefully, 
you found this general guidance useful and helpful. We will be revamping our 18th edition training videos over the next few weeks, but most of the advice and questions in the videos is relevant to both amendments, so still useful to learn from. Thank you for watching this video, it is very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you will find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel, don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.